So here we are at Word Camp, Sacramento, yay! Creating a live podcast. It's going to be a podcast. It's not really Welcome to this different. special episode of Timelines, episode 270, and EO Secrets, episode 6. This you can hear on two different podcasts. It's such a great show. That is Word Camp Sacramento 2017. I want to thank all the organizers, especially Jennifer Bourne and Brian Bourne and everyone else. Man, you guys did a great job. We know how hard you work. It was an amazing, amazing Word Camp. Over 500 people, Sacramento, downtown Sacramento, in the convention center. The rooms were excellent. You guys did a great job. So without further ado, let's get right into this episode of Timelines and EO Secrets and look back at some of those thoughts and feelings of some of those folks at WordCamp, Sacramento 217. Okay, I'm with Jonathan from WP Tonic and, of course, WP Tonic and the Mailwright Real Estate Show. And we're at WordCamp Sacramento. It's having a lot of fun. What do you think of the day? Oh, I thought it was great, Bill. Um, they had three tracks, which is unusual, one for beginner and one for non-developer and a developer. had some great speakers. Um, I think it's been one of the largest word camps I've been to. I think they have had over 500 people, Bill. Yep. They, and they sold out on top of that, too. But it's yeah. really nice. It's downtown Sacramento, which is really bigger than when I was here two years ago. So let's point this over here. Anyway, you did a podcast this morning. Yes, I did. Yes, we had um, some of the uh, regular panel, and we had Chris from Li- no, uh, Chris from the um, Lifter LMS. Oh, oh, Chris is here. Yeah, he was here. He I was here. Catch him. Yeah, right. he was here. Well, anyway, more tomorrow as we get our pictures taken. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. We're stars. Gotta turn around. There we go. <laughs> lighting. Hey, this is Bill, and we're at the second day of uh, WordCamp Sacramento, and the lighting is really bad here, but that's okay. Hey, John from Lockdown Design, what do you think of the show? I'm going to hold the mic. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so the WordCamp, this is the third year of WordCamp in Sacramento. Uh, first year, I think it was like 300 people. Second year was like 350. This year, it's like 510 people. We're at the convention center. We have three tracks. We have a beginner track, and then we have uh, two other tracks going. The most speakers, the most attendees. Uh, the organizing team really did a great job this year. Uh, it's kind of like a peace, love, freedom, kind of hippie um, theme this year, which I think is great. Uh, it's been great, and I've made a lot of uh, connections with people that came in from out of town, uh, like these gentlemen here. So, Sort of like Burning Man. Maybe we could burn a computer. Thomas doesn't know what to say after that one. Thomas from Lifter LMS. I'm trying really hard to think of a Burning Man joke, but I, I, I really can't. Um, I think that if word camps were more like Burning Man, they'd be a lot more interesting. And we should maybe pursue that as a uh, future camp in the future, uh, or a future concept for a conference would be like a burning yeah, like a bur- burning press uh, out in the desert somewhere. Uh, I don't know if burning a computer would work, but I mean, maybe you can make a giant effigy of a computer <laughs> and burn that and have all sorts of like Mad Max style post-apocalyptic steampunk. Uh, what would you do? I, I mean, I don't know. It'd be crazy. This is how great ideas start. And Chris, tell us, you're, this is, Chris is a virgin. This is his first word camp, so no more. You're not a virgin. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just really enjoying it. It's great to connect with the uh, WordPress community hang out with some Lifter users, and uh, yeah, a lot of great talks, and uh, it's just such a great, strong community we have here. You know what's wonderful? And they just fixed my Lifter LMS question. It actually wasn't a fix. I just didn't know how to do it. So you didn't fix anything. You just showed me. You taught me. We need more training. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thomas has got a great idea. Here's the genius about the, bur- the new uh, Burning Man WordCamp. I don't know if they, they really, Matt Mullenwick would like that, though. Right. That's all right. It's open source. It's 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 more powerful than that. I don't know. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that on air, right? Oh well, whatever. Uh oh. Hey, take care and thanks, great. Chris. See you. It's good cool to see you guys. People, a lot of great speakers so far. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of great sessions today. Got to meet some more developers. Absolutely ecstatic. Hey, isn't it cool for forty bucks? What you get compared to anything else? Yeah. Two full days of conference. You get a sick T-shirt and you get some food. And you get some meet some people. Good. Good food. Go, great food. I got quesadillas. I got a euro. I am pleased with my investment. You know, I was in the military and we always made sure at places like this we ate our dinner. <laughs> Definitely. No, you got to get your money's worth for these. $40 for two days, two lunches. It's pretty amazing. So Matt, one quick question. What was one thing that stood out today, your very first day in WordCamp? 
the project management workshop uh, session, one of the speakers mentioned um, as they're going out through a project with a client, one of the things that they track is how happy is my team doing this project? And that struck me as pretty obvious, but my agency, we don't really do that that much. So it's like, it was kind of cool. Might want to start using that metric to start measuring, oh, what kind of client projects we end up on taking or not in the future. So who's your agency? Uh, Unearth I'm campaigns. Okay. Yeah. Very formerly known. Campaign. Unearth campaigns. Uh, I, formerly. And you're in Sacramento. Yep. Downtown. Sacramento. For California. That's right. And same thing. Tyler, what, what was your impression today? You know, I had a really great time. I spent most of my day in the development uh, sessions, and uh, I got to learn some really cool things uh, about strategy for new media and how when developing WordPress sites, especially with content-dense sites, you should be thinking forward to, like, how is that going to push out to Apple News? How is that going to push out to Flipboard and some of the other services uh, that are available? You know, that's the big thing I've seen as a change in WordCamp. I've gone to several over the years. And it's the new media now, much more discussion about new media instead of just a, how do you build a WordPress site. So, Absolutely. I will see you guys tomorrow and uh, stay in touch. Sounds good. Thanks for your time, Bill. Really appreciate it. So I'm just checking. What we want to do is I want to keep the sound about that far, and I'll hold the mic. Okay. All right. So here we are at one of my favorite vendors, which is SiteGround, which really is an excellent source. It's really helped me in podcasting and working the websites because you made it so easy, and your customer service is great. So it's great to see you guys. Right. Fully Thank support you. you, promote you. And also, I'm an affiliate of you guys. So you're the only only one I recommend right now. It's very good. So. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, Ivan, what do you think of WordCamp? It's kind of awesome. I mean, it's also meeting new people, uh, exploring new options and stuff like that. It's an interesting experience. Meet new people to make new contacts and it's very fun. Is this your first time in the United First time in the No, it's actually the third one. Third. Yeah. So you've done, work, you've done work camps? Yep. This is my second work camp. Four years ago. I was just traveling, so yeah. That's really nice. Hey, these guys are really great, though. They're in sales and marketing. They're in sales. And it truly is. We're talking about... Uh, just to be able to create a WordPress site and have the support that you guys have is just second to none. How do you guys create such great support? Well, it's just that we really care. We really care, we care about what we do. You know, it's not, it's not just about a website. It's more about what's behind it. So that's how we do it. Stan, how many times have you been in the U.S.? Uh, this is my fourth time, actually. This is my second work camp and I've been twice here before on a work, work and travel program. That's students type, so very good experience. It's very good. Well, we want very good. Well, we ground for their support of the WordPress community and supporting work camps because, folks, it only costs 40 bucks for us to attend these events. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty amazing. And, uh, this is Bill, yeah, and I've got guys. Ben from 10 Up. Thank your boss, too, for letting yeah. you come. Ilfeld. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. And uh, Ben did an excellent uh, presentation on analytics. And what's your title over to now? I'm the lead audience and revenue strategist. What is, what do you do? So 10up works with large publishers and a lot of enterprises who want to act like publishers. So this could range from your ESPNs, uh, TechCrunch, Wired, that kind of group. Um, but it can also be people like... Uh, Microsoft, who might want to, you know, present their new blog for Windows 10 or something like that, and they want to communicate as if they were publishing editorial content. So 10up works with them. We craft beautiful websites for our clients, and most of the time we use open source technology, and we love WordPress. So we contribute back to the WordPress community. Now, Ben said some really nice things about WordPress, and it's, I really do like the platform. It's good for SEO. I know that. Oh, Nine Alexis presentation. Now, tune up for those listening out there. It's a very large company. I, I mean, I don't know how to qualify it, but it was about 130 uh, full-time employees. Making websites. Making websites, and we're fully distributed. So if you're hearing me now, you live where Ten Up is, so you could work for Ten Up or hire Ten Up. It's kind of cool. Okay. Ben is in Sacramento. I'm in Sacramento, California. And we'll finish up real fast, but we're going to be on WP Tonic, which I always like to promote good old WP yes. by Jonathan Dinward, so you'll listen to his episode probably in a month or so. I'll be there soon. Yeah, I'm excited. Hey, Ben, thanks. Good presentation. Thank you. Yeah, welcome to Stephen Bill's Excellent Adventure. This is a completely improv stand-up comedy show all centered around WordPress jokes, and our host is going to tell all the jokes. Okay, so practicing holding the sound, this is... A 
the, the sound. We're going to figure out where the best angle of sound hit it there. A little bit of angle of sound there. Now, Aren't you talk. supposed to talk over a mic, not into it? So the mic would be like it this. It depends this on would the, be the mic. Best a cardio, position. A cardio so mic. You probably want a slight angle, about 45 time, like this. So 45 okay. and you can just move around. We're at a 45. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I was just wondering, you know, how you got into the whole podcasting, you know, uh, internet space. Right. So. Oh, you don't have to get it. You about six inches. Okay. So, yes, I, I come from the uphill both ways, barefoot in the snow days of, of building websites. Uh, I have been publishing a, an electronic journal by FTP and Gopher in 1993. In 1994, somebody showed me the web. Uh, the journal was about theater, which is very vis visual, and I said, I want that. So I just went out and learned HTML and started writing code and building websites. I discovered WordPress in 2005. And although it was fairly primitive at that point, just the fact that it would automatically update your menu when you added a new page was revolutionary to me. And I got pulled further into it because that was also about when I started listening to podcasts. And WordPress has all these great plugins for podcasters. So, you know, and then I started going to the meetup. And then I was hooked and WordPress ate my life since that time. What year was that? The 2009. Very good. Well, Sally, we're yeah, going to do it now. Got the Oliver, we're going to need, this is his very first WordCamp, and I'm going to ask him, well, Oliver, what do you think about WordCamp? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I loved the, I think the sessions were really cool. I learned a lot, and then um, I, I got to meet a lot of really cool people. I think that was probably my favorite thing was, uh, you know, I didn't know like a ton of people in the space previously, so I think just having so many people from the industry come together and, you know, it was a really cool experience. What do you do with WordPress? Uh, right now, I, I design a couple. Uh, I've designed a few sites. I'm trying to get into building sites for local businesses, and then I also do some lead generation um, through affiliate marketing. So. Now, you live in Lida, <laughs> Lodi, excuse me, and you're a student at Chico. What year are you in, and what are you studying? Uh, I'm a senior studying business uh, project management. Oh, wow. So, how can the listener get a hold of you? Uh, you know, if you want to go to my Facebook, it's, uh, just search Oliver Montalbano, LinkedIn. Uh, Email is montalbano.oliver at gmail.com. You know what's so nice? I can do a cut. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan and I are both in the speaker's room, and we're getting ready to go on at the same time. And I'd really like to hear his presentation. It's about SVGs, right? Mm -hmm. And that's sort of a, a newer element of, of getting your websites doing amazing things. So tell me what SVGs can do for your website. Uh, well, SVGs are actually not a new thing. The spec was uh, developed back in 1999. Um, it's just become a lot more popular because we're using it to do a lot of more flexible graphics. Uh, they're very responsive, so you have this this graphic that a single file will look crisp on no matter what device. So iPhone can come up with a couple different devices, Retina devices, and they will always look sharp. So they're responsive? Re uh, yeah, you can do responsive graphics. Um, you can do um, Retina graphics all with a single file. How hard it is to learn how to ap apply them? Um, so usually these are reserved for more designers. Um, when you work with designers that illustrate uh, icons, uh, they usually spit them out as a PNG. Um, but we have an SVG format that we can save as. So it's usually just making the request that you'd like them as an SVG. So you create the uh, graphics? That's what your company does? Yeah. What's the name, What's the name of the company? Uh, we're Scribe. Scribe. Mm -hmm. Very good. How can we get a hold of you? Uh, you can visit us on the website. It's wearescribe.com. Well, thank you, and good luck. And um, we're going on at the same time. It's called Vendor Fuel. Hey, we've got Vendor Fuel here with us, and Andrew and Kevin. Did I say that right, Andrew? And Kevin. Andrew, tell us what, what Vendor Fuel does. Well, uh, Vendor Fuel is an e commerce cloud based platform. You know, it's uh, scalable from small businesses all the way up to enterprise level at a small business cost, you know. We're a API, so we're decoupled from uh, any updated plugins or WordPress being updated from breaking uh, your e-commerce platform, which is one of our major benefits. So really good. So how many WordCamps have you guys been to? Uh, this is actually our first event with WordCamp. We've been uh, kind of marketing in other ways, but uh, we're now starting to get a lot more involved in WordCamp. Um, the product's been around since 2013, and we just had a, a new launch, and we're really getting this sucker out there. And we're hoping that we can get people to take a look at us as a consideration to some of the options that are out there. A lot of e-commerce out there, but we think uh, we have a good solution. I see Rockland, California. Where is your company from? Uh, Rockland, California. I founded it in, uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, we have a, 
Again, it's a, a web-based API, so you know we have a small connector that installs on WordPress, and then it allows you to, uh, uh, using Angular, render all the pages up to uh, the front end. So we have an Angular editor built into it, and I think it's very flexible. So in your customer brand, you can really be specific. You can really customize the look and feel. You can make a very, very customized e-commerce site using our tool, and uh, you know give state-of-the-art class uh, to uh, a small business. Uh, at a, a small business enterprise level tools at a small business price. So I mean, that's pretty much there. So how can the listener get a hold of you? Uh, www.vendorfuel.com. Um, it's pretty much the easiest way to get there or 888-484-4426. Last thought. Mike, Mike Fitzpatrick from Reno just finished up multi-sites in WordCamp here in Sacramento. What do you think, Mike? It seemed... Seemed to go over pretty well. You know, it's, it had a lot of really good questions. It looks like the uh, the crowd is great here, and a lot of a lot of good WordPressers. So everything seemed to work out pretty well. Yeah, it's, it was really good, and you had a lot of engagement with your presentation. Second time I've seen it. He did the practice last two months ago. Two months ago, yeah, and it changed a few things from that, and that's one of the reasons why I did the practice. But yeah, a lot of good, like I said, a lot of great questions, a lot of good interaction, which is always fun. So I, it, I definitely enjoyed it. What do you think of this WordCamp compared to others? Um, you know, it, this so far, you know, it, it's clicking right along. It seems to be going pretty smooth. A lot of uh, good WordPressers. Like I said, it's, uh, um, whenever you get good questions in a, in a talk like that, it's always nice to see. So it looks like they've done a good job. Now, how does the listener get a hold of you? Um, at Twitter, um, at Fitzpatrick, um, or um, just online at dealertrend.com. We've got contact forms and so forth as well. I'd love to answer questions and do whatever I can. And he, in some place in Reno, you can find him. He'll be wandering around Reno. Yeah, or, or the, uh, or the, the uh, WordPress meetup um, uh, the second Thursday of every month in Reno. If you happen to be through Reno, come see us. That's really good. It's a good meetup, too. So this is Jennifer Bourne. We're actually on the iPhone without any sound. So thank you, Jennifer, for all the hard work. Thank you. Amazing that you uh, did what you did. And this, you put all this together in the Convention Center in Sacramento. So thanks. We've had a lot of growth, so we're super excited about the event and to have you speak. Your session was packed. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate it. Hopefully I can come back next year. We would love that. Fantastic That's great. time. Uh, remember, if you haven't joined the Sacramento WordPress Meetup at meetup.com, uh, remember to do that. Any announcements about WordCamp Sacramento 2018, any information about uh, the dates, the date announcements, call for speakers, anything like that will all come out through the Meetup first. So if you're interested in coming back and joining us to do that again next year, make sure you sign up there. Also, if you're local, we'd love to see you out at the meetup. Uh, there isn't information about the next couple meetups because we've been neck deep in this, um, but look for in the next week or so some information about the October and the November meetup. And then December, we're doing a big holiday party and we're kicking around some fun ideas for some events there. Uh, so we do some games and prizes and free stuff and cookies and pie. And uh, <laughs> who doesn't like that, right? So come out and join us. It's super fun. We would love to see you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at WordCamp 2018. Have a great night. Woo